Welcome to the first media blast for the flag football season. Each week we'll try to address the different comments, questions, concerns that take place across the state of Georgia. As a reminder, your flag belt should have three permanent flags attached, one on each side and one in the back. The flag should be of contrasting color to the opponent's flags and contrasting colors to the player's pants or shorts. Pockets are strictly prohibited. Uh, this includes pockets for pants, shorts, and hoodies. This is a player safety. No article of clothing should have pockets. Referee coach conference. If a coach wishes to have a conference with the referee, a team should take a charged team timeout. It's imperative that we do this because we have a running clock and a coach can get an unfair advantage of the game clock if that meeting takes any kind of time. If the coach is arguing a rule application and the rule is overturned, the team will not be charged a timeout. It instead will be an official's timeout. Again, this is to argue a rule application. This is not to argue judgment calls. Personal fouls will continue to be a point of emphasis. Illegal screen blocking, illegal contact, strictly prohibited. Again, grounds of safety and sportsmanship. For, for screen blocking, uh, we have way more information coming out on this. Can you legally screen block downfield? And the answer is yes, as long as we do not initiate contact. Uh, in the past, we've had it where the blocker has to be stationary downfield. That is no longer the case. As long as we are not initiating contact as a screen blocker, that is legal. Again, the point of emphasis here is who initiates the contact. So the screen blocking techniques will be the same behind the line of scrimmage as they are beyond the line of scrimmage. Again, we're here to promote player safety and reduce potential sportsmanship issues that can arrive. Look this week.